Hey there, West Michigan. Thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barons. It was a cool Saturday out there with some rain and snow and certainly quite a bit of wind, but better than the stormy conditions that we had on Friday just about 24 hours ago. Check out some of the wind though over at the lakeshore. Some wild waves getting kicked up this afternoon. Martha sent us this picture from Montague. Definitely not a day you'd want to be in that water out there. Very choppy, a violent lake earlier this afternoon. Good thing is now though winds will be calming down as we head through tonight. Of course, you always love to share your weather photos. You can send them to me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on Twitter and on Instagram. Your high temperature today happened right after midnight when we were still in the upper 50s. 57 in Grand Rapids, 56 Muskegon and 53 in Holland. The temperatures this afternoon much cooler. We told you 43. The afternoon high was 42. That's in Inside three degrees now six days in a row. Of course, we'll have to add to that streak as we head toward tomorrow. Speaking of which, warmer weather is ahead as we head into your Sunday. That's why 13 weather balls lit up in red. A view of 13 weather balls sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. As of about 10 o'clock, temperatures were still hanging around the 30s out there. 34 in Grand Rapids, 35 Muskegon, and 36 in Holland. A bit of a wind chill as winds were still up to around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Coming in from the north, but the skies were clearing and that northerly flow means colder temperatures are on the way for the overnight. In fact, temperatures expected to fall down through the 20s tonight as clear skies let the air cool off. We'll be back up into the upper 40s near 50 though for tomorrow afternoon, though cloud cover will build in for the second half of your Sunday after a sunny start. We're calling that temperature tonight down to 26 as skies clear and temperatures fall Sunday up to a high of 50. Again, clouds increasing late in the day, even warmer Monday, mostly cloudy, but rain by the evening will be a possibility. Temperature around 56 degrees. Here's the radar as of about 10 o'clock again. West Michigan was quiet with the rain and snow that we had early in the day. Now moving well off toward the east. The cloud cover was on its way out as well. That clearing pattern will continue as we head into the overnight hours tonight with a pretty nice start to your Sunday. Cold temperatures as you step out the door early, but the sunshine will be out in force. So not a bad way to start the day. Cloud cover building in the afternoon, becoming mostly cloudy by Sunday evening. We'll stay dry here in West Michigan, though, as this round of cloud cover pushes through. We'll stay mostly cloudy in through the day on Monday, but as we head toward Monday afternoon and evening, rain chances start to rise as a system approaches from the south. By Monday night, most of the region south of 96 will be seeing rain showers. Those chances up north of 96, though, going to be a bit lower. Not expecting too much rain for you guys as we head into Tuesday. Cloud cover stays in place. Winds start to shift. We'll pick up a southerly wind flow throughout the day, and then we'll have to watch for our next round of some possible thunderstorms as we head toward Tuesday night and the early part of Wednesday. We watch the system approach from the west, pulling the warm air in overnight, and then as storms come through into early Wednesday, again, we could be dodging some severe weather here in West Michigan. Already a risk place in uh, store for Tuesday out there and early Wednesday. We're going to have to keep a close eye on that as we head through the next couple of days. Temperatures, though, between now and then, lots of warming to do. It starts tomorrow. We'll be in the 40s and 50s of breezy conditions by the afternoon on the lake shore. Temperatures up north expected in the upper 40s for a Sunday afternoon with temperatures that'll hang around low 50s from Grand Rapids down to Kalamazoo. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. <coughs> Temperatures rise through the 50s and into the 60s as we head toward Tuesday. Those temperatures keep climbing overnight Tuesday and into the Wednesday morning before that cold front comes through with the thunderstorms and then temperatures fall for the rest of Wednesday afternoon. We'll be back down with highs just in the low 40s for Thursday, rising though as we head toward Easter weekend. Though Easter Sunday itself, you may dodge a little bit of rain and some possible snowflakes. Temperatures though will still be in the 50s for Easter afternoon. Now, speaking of storms, while well, we got through the storms here in West Michigan Friday night with only some minor hail, wind and flooding elsewhere across the nation, storms brought major damage and impacts that will likely last forever. Dozens of tornadoes striking the south and Midwest Friday night. Widespread damage from these intense storms left behind from Arkansas to Indiana. Let's get to the latest now from ABC News's Victor Okendo, who's in Memphis. This morning, the latest deadly tornado outbreak across the Midwest and South. 
at least 50 tornadoes reported. It's coming to the road, back up. The dangerous storms tearing through towns across six states. In Arkansas, the storm blamed for at least five deaths. It's scary, it's real scary. And all the people down that way, we just don't know if they're okay or not. Four people dead in the city of Wynn, taking a catastrophic hit. It come through so fast, within a matter of seconds, it's just dead silent. And then you come outside and you see all this. This tornado ravaging Little Rock. It's, hit, it's gonna hit the radio tower, go. One person killed north of the city. First responders rushing to destroyed buildings. It's devastating, uh, the impact that it had in, in such a short period of time uh, and the pathway that it took. Uh, we definitely will be in recovery for the, the next few weeks. The governor declaring a state of emergency. In Indiana, a tornado striking Sullivan County, killing at least three people. In Illinois, this ring camera capturing a tornado spinning through Belvedere. Is that a tornado? No. It might be. The storm also killing at least one person in Illinois. Two tornadoes on the ground right now. Two tornadoes on the ground. In Iowa, storm chasers following this massive tornado as it barreled through fields. All of this coming one week after another outbreak in the south that left 26 people dead in Mississippi. President Biden seeing the damage firsthand on Friday. This is your community. This is where you built your lives. And we're going to make sure you can stay right here. Across the region, search and rescue operations went well into the night and in the hardest hit areas, they'll be picking up again this morning. And with sunrise, we'll only get a better scope of the devastation. Victor Okendo, ABC News, Wynn, Arkansas. And more now on those storms from last night in Illinois, where a roof collapsed during a sold out concert in Belvedere, northwest of Chicago. Ambulances racing to the scene. ABC News' Jason Lee has the story. Overnight, absolute chaos inside the Belvedere Apollo Theater. The roof collapsed at the Apollo. There were people inside, unknown how many injured. 260 people were inside when that roof came crashing down. This was carnage. For something like this to happen so close, it, it hurts. Debris scattered in the streets. This marquee ripped off the building. Officials say one person is dead and 28 rushed to the hospital. Five people left with severe injuries. Authorities are working overnight to reunite victims with their families. The building is clear. There's a lot of scared family members um, and we're just trying to connect them with the kids who are injured and kid the kids who are just here trying to find a way home. The town of Belvedere received a tornado warning about 10 minutes before the incident, but officials could not confirm if a tornado was the cause of the collapse. Morbid Angel, one of the bands scheduled to perform last night, releasing a statement canceling the show, saying, right now our focus is on making sure everyone in the venue tonight is okay and gets home. And certainly some tragic scenes from across the country as the cleanup will continue in the days ahead. Now that you're up to date with the latest news and weather here in West Michigan, though, and some headlines from around the country, you can always find more at 13 onyourside.com or by downloading 13 onyourside news and weather apps. For now, thanks for watching 13 Plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens.